Uh, proud of my guys. I thought it was a, a good game. Two, two very good teams, two of the, the top teams in the East uh, going at it. Uh, I thought that uh, the first half was a little strange. You know, I, I think we gave up silly goals, we could call them. Uh, you know, Ken makes a mistake, obviously. I thought he actually rebounded well uh, and continued to still pass and do the things out of the back that we want him to do as a center back. So good response from him after a big mistake. He knows that. Uh, you know, the, 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 the Sasha one at the flex catches Andre off a little bit. Um, they probably deserve to be ahead in the first half. Uh, I thought our response, though, uh, was was good. I thought that uh, you know Fabian came into the game and, and made an impact. Uh, I was happy with all the guys. Uh, we're at our best uh, when we're we're high pressing. Uh, we're pushing the tempo of the game. We're all on the same page. Uh, we did take risk for sure. Uh, down to two goals, you have to take some risks, and I thought our guys did that today. Uh, incredibly proud of the effort. Uh, the red card obviously changes the game. I don't think it was a malicious red card. I think it was a, a factor of, you know, El Sino kind of getting up after getting a piggyback for uh, about 10 yards, and he kind of flails his arms. And, uh, you know, Connor's a hard, hard working, hard nosed player, but he is short. And uh, I think that, that the height factor, you know, what would have normally been hitting him in the chest catches him a little bit under the, the neck. So. Unfortunate. I don't think it was malicious. Uh, changed the game. Obviously, we go down a, a man, which is is big. I thought we had all the momentum at that time. Uh, however, uh, even down a man, I thought we pushed the game. Had uh, opportunities to win it uh, on a different night. I think we could get all three. But I think uh, all things considered, a, a point is a, a fair result. Questions for Jim. Was the offsides trap something you guys prepared for? Looking at the number of offsides. We were offsides a lot, and that's on. Uh, that's on. A lot of them were, were silly offsides where the ball is now, the players on our, on the, our team can see the line uh, clearly. So that's just a matter of uh, working back. Uh, again, you know, uh, I wouldn't call it, you know, they're great offside strap. I don't know. This, that's like a 1980s thing. So uh, I won't get too much into that. But, you know, again, we were offsides too much. Yeah, they always work hard. Everybody works their tail off, and we, we we said that at halftime. I said, guys, you're working. You're giving everybody. You're, everybody's giving maximum effort, but we can work a little smarter. You know, we turned over a, a couple silly balls, and let's put our best players on the ball more. Simple, right? Put Tranquilo on the ball more. Put Il Sino on the ball more. Put Roland on the ball more. We didn't do that in the first half, um, but those are the guys that can make the game, get the ball to CJ's feet in the first half. I don't think we played one ball into his feet. We played aerial balls that he had to battle two center backs. So um, much better second half, similar to the Open Cup game. Um, you know, similar games in some ways, two really good teams uh, going at it. I think it was an exciting game for the fans, for sure. Um, it needs to be said, the fans were excellent tonight. That was uh, a packed house. That was as loud as it's been in this building this year. Um, and I think our, our players deserve that. And that, that was great uh, to see our, our fans uh, push them on. And they really, uh, really helped us a lot in, in that regard. Because Chris is a great player. <laughs> I mean, he's uh, a guy who's been through the battles in MLS. He's an uh, excellent winger. I think he's one of the top in the, in the league. Uh, he's got a knack around the goal, right? So he has a, a, a way of moving in the box um, that you can't, you can't teach. I can't coach it. Some players have it. Some players don't. And he has a way of uh, arriving in the box at the right time. Needs to be said on that play, too, when you watch it back. Fabian makes a heck of a cross. CJ makes a heck of a near post run that we work on a ton in, in, in training, uh, taking that center back out. Uh, and then you see Chris gets the tap in and gets rewarded. You know, similar, actually, we had another chance at a tap in, but we missed at the end. So again, tough game. You know, uh, I, I think a point is fair, but you know, I'm, I'm getting greedy, and I, I think we could have took all three. Andy, the front gym was the last 30 minutes a matter of hustle and execution combined. Yeah, it's a hot night. You know, our, our guys are fit. Uh, that is one thing I will say. You know, I, I think uh, none of our guys were cramping up or anything like that. Everybody was pushing the tempo of things. And, uh, you know, it was a real game. That had a playoff feel to it. It was intense. Uh, I think, uh, again, two good teams at press that like to get after it in the right way. Uh, they had the better of it in the first half, and I think we had the better of it in, in the second. Um, but, yeah, overall, uh, happy with the effort uh, from the guys. Again, you could go through all the names and, 
you know, if you think of the ground Brian Carroll covers tonight, uh, again, uh, kind of our unsung hero this year uh, in terms of putting out fires, doing the dirty running. Uh, uh, but we're a fit team. We're strong. Uh, we're not afraid to play Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. We don't get concerned with that. We don't rest. Or, and again, you guys can keep going back to it. I keep saying it. When teams do their, uh, you got what's your what's your guys' word that you, everybody loves now? Uh, the squad rotation. Yeah, th w when teams rotate their squad and change five and six guys in MLS, they lose four or five zero. So you guys have seen that now. Um, so. We're a team that's going to, you know, maybe a, a change or two, but we have a, a, a really strong 11. Uh, we have a really strong 18, and we have a really strong, you know, 28. <laughs> so we're happy with our group. Uh, everybody pushes the, the envelope in terms of fitness every day. But, yeah, that's why the, the last 30, we still were strong, even down a man. I thought we pushed the game. Ryan, now right to you. Uh, what goes into the decision to start Ken, one, and then two? What do you say to him as a former center back? Yeah, he I, he was the first guy I went up to after the game because uh, as a center back, you have to have a, a short-term memory. It's kind of like a defensive back in the NFL. You get beat, it's going to happen. You make mistakes, it's going to happen, but uh, you're only as good as your next play, um, and it's a, it's a hard lesson to learn. Uh, I chose to start Ken because we won 3-0 against DC United, and we didn't give up a goal, and I thought that there was some... Uh, some good things that were happening. Uh, did he make a mistake? Yeah, he's a big boy. He'll put his arm up. I mean, it's it, he's uh, he's a pro, and uh, I thought he still responded really well. Uh, again, you can speculate and say, oh, if Josh was in, he would he doesn't do that. But we don't. That's not what we're about. Uh, everybody has come into our team and contributed at some point this year, and it's been uh, the way it's going to keep going. Uh, we have a big Open Cup game against New England. Uh, we have a, a, a big game on the road against Montreal, and you can see how tight the table is. We're in a very good spot with the game in hand on, on the teams that are uh, the team that's ahead of us and, and Red Bull behind us. Uh, one less game played, so uh, I like where we are. Uh, we're going to continue to push, and you know Ken is uh, going to bounce back from that mistake. And just from that two-minute stretch of two goals in two minutes, I mean, how hectic was that? You know, did you see from? Yeah, we're, we're we don't quit. You know, that's the thing. You've you've seen us home and away. We don't lay down or, or stop going, uh, stop pressing. Uh, so it's a credit to the players. Players win games. Uh, again, I've said it before. Players win games. Uh, coaches lose games, and referees ruin them. And again, it uh, it rings true every every week. Anything else for Jim? On that subject about how you said all year this team doesn't quit, is there an intangible when a team has done it over and over again during the year when they're down tonight like they are, they have that belief and that confidence? Belief's the word. I was going to say it. You beat me to it. But belief is it. That's everything. When they walk out on this field, they know that they can play with anybody. You've seen it now, whether you want to call it the Galaxy, the New York Red Bulls, New York City FC. We can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. We're a confident team, uh, but there is belief. If we go down a goal, we're not worried. There's no panic. We're not scared. Uh, the guys just keep going. They keep pushing, and they, they wind up uh, getting rewarded. Uh, and again, uh, really, really happy with how they responded, and uh, I'll go to war with those guys any day. Yeah. First time this year. Mm -hmm. What do you think about him there versus where he usually kind of plays on the wing or as a number nine? No, it's good, good, good point. Uh, he did a good job. Um, we just thought that we needed a, a change, give them a different, a different look. Um, it was kind of as a, you know, I told him, I called it a second forward, but again, come back off the ball because CJ's occupying both center backs uh, for the majority of the night. Um, so if he came underneath, uh, he, we thought we could get him on the ball in some space. He has a knack, though. He drifts out wide. That's where he does his damage. He has a tendency to move out wide where there's space. He did it on his own, um, and that's where we got the, the goal and the service from. So um, he's a great player. I think he's uh, came into a game and, and, and changed it, which was good, and that's what we, we want all our subs to do, and I thought that he uh, did very well. Great young player, uh, still has a lot to learn, uh, but does everything you ask and is not scared to go into a game like that again. National TV, packed house, and you, you, you give him his instructions, and he looks at you like he's been doing this for 20 years. So, again, it's good. It's a good thing. Thanks, guys. Thank you.